Hello, this is Kelly with Hello Tassiva Consulting and welcome to your training videos. This is video number one, so we're going to go ahead and dive in and get started. But the way this is going to work is there should be, by the time I get done, either four or five videos. They're about 15 minutes each, so at the end of this I'm going to cut it off and then we'll switch to the next one. <clears throat> um, but we're going to try to go over as much as possible to give you an idea of how this should all work. Um, we're going to let you have these videos for your reference, um, basically forever. But after you've reviewed them, after you've had some time to get into the back, make some changes, get to feel comfortable, then we're going to schedule a one-on-one -on -one with me, which will allow you um, the ability to ask whatever questions or you know solve any problems that you're having. Um, we used to do the one-on-one -on -one in the beginning. But we found that with the videos, uh, people can get comfortable with them and actually have um, questions about it, not just being bombarded with a bunch of information with the one-on-one. -on -one. So we're going to go ahead and dive in here, um, and let's get started. Okay, so when you log in, which we will uh, email you that information, but <clears throat> we can, for the purpose of, of showing you how this goes, you go to thehealthypause.com slash WP hyphen admin brings you to this page. You put in your username and your password, which uh, will send you that information. Once you've logged in, you come to what we call the dashboard. So this is where um, kind of you launch off from, basically. We do have this personalized uh, note here. So <clears throat> from Tiffany, if you uh, somehow lose her contact information, here's her email address. You can get a hold of her there. Um, if there's anything that you know we need to know, or need, we need to let you know, we're going to put it in here. But we're also going to uh, shoot, shoot you an email just to be sure. But it will be in here if it's something pertinent to the site. So um, what I like to do to start making changes is I like to have the dashboard open, which is this area here. But I also like to have what we call the front end open, which is just the main site. So I call the dashboard either the dashboard or this whole area here is called the back end of the site. And then the front end of the site is what your clients can see. So to make to get there from here, we go. We're going to hover over um, your name here, and this little thing pops up. This little sub menu, uh, view site. I like to right click and then open a new tab. So you can see up here now. I have the dashboard open, and I have um, the main site here open, which at this point you're familiar with. I like to have this open so if we're making any changes, we can quickly go to the front and see what they look like. So we're going to go back here. Now, this is the menu that you get to see, the main menu <clears throat> in the back end. We have um, posts, media, forms, pages, parents, users, SEO, which is also uh, known as search engine optimization, and then Jetpack. So what we're going to be focusing on today are uh, these four up here. This is how um, the front of your site, this is how you would make changes, is these top four things. We can touch on the bottom four when we do the one-on-one. -on -one. It's not really something you're going to have to mess with. But the only thing that uh, sometimes confuses people in here is we have posts and we have pages. <clears throat> now, we're all familiar with um, the term blog post. So that's what these are. The, the posts are referring to blog posts. And pages are referring to the whole website pages. So these, home, meet us, our services, education, all these drop downs, those are pages. So I like to make sure that we know exactly what we're talking about. So pages are website pages and posts are blog posts. We're going to start with the pages. And dive right in here. Okay, <clears throat> the way this works is these are where all of the pages live so that you can make changes to them. Um, we did program it so that this is reminiscent of your main menu on your website. Now it's not it doesn't come like that. We did do that to make your life a little easier because with 46 pages, you can see here, it could get a little confusing, whereas normally these would all just be in um, alphabetical order. That can just get so confusing. So we did this for you. Now, if we see we have home, meet us, our services, education, library, shop here, reward center, contact. We go over here. We see, okay, we have home, meet us, our services, education, library, shop here, reward center, contact. That makes sense. And we know that contact is the end of the main menu. Now we do have this little client feedback page here, which is coming after this contact, but we do know that contact is the end. Client feedback is actually down here in your footer, but he had to live somewhere, so he's going to live down here at the bottom. And just know that contact is the end of the main menu, but he had to live somewhere, so there he is. Now, 
we have these as drop downs, right? So we know that there's more pages there, but it also corresponds to these. We also know, you know, we have meet us as drop down, services drop down, libraries drop down, contacts as drop down. Well, meet us, services, library, and contact. That makes sense. So we're going to expand everything just to make, to give you an impact of everything that's here. So if you come in here and you log in and some things aren't all expanded, I usually like to get them all expanded. Gives me just a look of what's going on. All right, there we go. That looks more like it. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna start making updates. <clears throat> There's really no good place to start. I know you're very unfamiliar with how all of this works. So we're just gonna dive in and we're gonna start. So to make, say we wanna make a change to this home page, okay? We're gonna click on home. This is, a, this is a link, it's gonna take us right to the editable page. All right, so this is what it looks like. And you're gonna scroll down to the Divi Builder area, okay? Uh, it's this bright pink, I'm not pink, either purple or blue, or I don't really see color very well, so we're gonna go with it's one of those colors, okay? So we're gonna scroll down. Um, this kind of stuff we're not going to worry about. This stuff we're not worried about. The only things that you need is this Divi Builder area and this Publish area. That's where you need to focus your attention, okay? So we look at all this and we're like, whoa, that's a lot to look at. There's a lot of different options. We've got different colors. we got all these things in here. Okay, take a deep breath. Kind of look at it. We've got this full width slider. We've got a slide bar. We have a bunch of options, and then we have something at the bottom. So let's go look at the front. All right, so we got a slider, we got a sidebar, we got a bunch of different options, and we got something at the bottom. Okay, that's a little more manageable. If you look at the front end, which is what I like to do, um, you look at the front, you look at the back, it gives you an idea of what might be what. And all of these um, admin labels here, that uh, we did that for you as well. These are programmed in there so that it makes your life a little bit easier. So. Um, all the little things in here, we have tried our best to, to make this as um, stress-free as possible for you to move forward in maintaining your site. So let's um, just start with at the top. So we're going to start with this full width slider. So we go back to the front. You see these little buttons here? They're not really buttons. Well, I mean, you could click on them, but this is just saying that there's four images here. Okay. Now we also have this slider with these arrows, so we can click through. So we got four. All right, we're good with that. So we're going to go in the back, and if we wanted to edit this, now you have two different choices here, okay? Because it's this actual full width slider that we want to edit, we have these three little lines, right? Now, don't get confused with these three little lines, okay? So if it has a color on it, it's a type of row, which means it, it allow these types of rows, these are different colors, so they're different types, allow you to do certain things you're not really going to need to change the colored ones. Those are the ones that allow the site to run how it does. That's everything that we've set for you. You're really just going to want to be changing the content within those things, which means whenever you click these three little lines, you want to make sure that it's in with this dark gray area. Okay, so we're going to edit this full width slider. So we're going to click these three little lines and we get this thing that comes up. This seems like a lot, right? But really the only thing that you need to look at are these four things. So when we go back over here and we say, okay, well, there are four slides here. We have four slides. Like, oh, okay, well, that's not too bad. And again, we have these three little lines, which means editable. So say you wanted to change out one of these pictures. You're gonna click one of these three little lines. It's gonna bring you a page that looks like this, okay? Again, these are a lot of options, but the only thing that you're gonna be worried about is this background image, okay? So to do this background image, if you wanted to replace this, you just upload an image. And you have two options. You have upload or you have media library. Now, media library, now all of these are images that, that we've uploaded to your site that are being used on the site right now. Okay, so you don't want to delete any of these or you're going to have a hole somewhere on the site. But if you wanted to use one of the existing images, you could choose from here. And you could just click it, go over here, and you'd say set as background. Okay? Or you can upload a file where you would select a file um, and it's going to bring up a, a pop-up so that you can see it and, and sh choose it from your, your desktop or your documents folder or somewhere on your computer. Okay, and You would select it and you'd say it says background. 
but this this whole interface here you're going to become very accustomed to it anytime you deal with images you're going to see the same thing which is great so wordpress allows you to see the same types of things to make the same types of changes no matter where in the site that you are it just helps you get familiar a lot quicker so two options upload or media library and close out of here we're not going to change this your site is live i don't want to mess anything up tiffany worked hard to get this live so i'm not going to mess with it but if that's where you wanted to do it if you wanted to change any images in the full width slider you click three little lines you choose which one that you want to change you can delete them or you can add a new slide and again the only thing that you want to mess with is this background image you would upload an image choose from the media library or choose um, somewhere from your computer after clicking select files now we're going to see my computer's now freaking out okay now we're going to see this option this full width slider option several more times on the site but at this point, you should be comfortable using this full width slider. So we're not going to touch on that again. But then we come down and we say, okay, well, we have all of these different options. Okay, yeah, well, there are a bunch of options here, but all of the options are, are programmed exactly the same, which just makes your life easier. If you know how to do one, you know how to do all of them, okay? So we're going to go over here. We're going to mess with this contact us one. So this one right here. So again, to make an edit, three little lines, click on that. Now here there are a bunch of options, but you're not going to mess with all of them. You're only going to mess with some of them. Or you're going to mess with this title if you want to change it. So this contact us is this. If you change this and click save and exit, you're going to change it here. Okay. Now the URL, that is where this is sending to. So if I click on this, See how it sends me to the Contact Us page? There it goes, to the Contact Us page. That's exactly where we want it to go. Then you click your image, which is obviously this right here, okay? So we click Upload an Image if you want to change it. And again, we're presented with the same thing. We've got Upload Images or we've got Media Library. You can choose from one in here or you can upload one from your computer. You click whichever one you wanted, set as image, and it would change it for you. Come back here, you click save and exit, and you'd be good to go. Those are the only things within this whole thing that you want to mess with. Title, URL, and image. Okay? I'm not going to change anything because it's live. I don't want to mess anything up. But if you changed it, you would click save and edit. I'm sorry, save and exit. And then Anytime that you make a change or an update or whatever on a page and you want to make sure that it gets to the front, yes, we might have clicked this save and exit, but it's only saving it within here. It's not changing it here. To change it here, you have to make sure that you click update. If you don't click update, all your changes are gone. I like to think of this update as update the front end or update the website. Click that button. And you get this little thing here, which is like a little I don't know, spinning wheel thing that tells you when it's, when it's done, it reloads, and we know that any changes that I made would now be visible on the front end. So all of these work exactly the same. Three little lines, change the title, the URL, the image, save and exit, update. You're good to go. Now the only other thing on this page, um, we'll get to the sidebar in a minute. I'm getting close on my 15 minutes, so we're just going to talk about this one. This is a call to action. The reason it's called a call to action is because it has this button. So if you see something that has this button, it's a call to action. You don't really need to know that, but if you're curious, go for it. But all that we know is we have this little area down here that we might want to change. Okay? So we have this little area down here, and it's a call to action. So the title. Again, there's a bunch of different options in here. Um, all that we don't need to we need to mess with. But you have the title. You have the button URL. Yeah, what, what, where the URL opens, um, button text, you have a background color, but really, of the options that we have dealt with, the only thing that you would need to change is, do you need to get in touch with us, what the button says, and where the button goes. Here's a title, you need to get in touch with us, which is right here. You have the button URL, this is where the button goes, and then the button text, request appointment, uh, is obviously here. So if you change it, you click save and edit, and you click update, and you'd be good to go. Um, all right, uh, this is the end of the first video. Get ready for the second.